Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Parvi. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. Today's video is a makeup video and I really hope that you will stick around and enjoy um, and learn some things. I do like walk you through the process of how I got to look this pretty and I do know that if you're not that much of a makeup girly this video will really help you and you will learn a thing or two so make sure that you do stay tuned and hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed if this is your first time here we welcome you with arms wide open to the parvi family <laughs> i don't know what that is but yeah i really hope that you do stay and you do subscribe to this channel because we're all about good vibes positivity and just what else can i say we're all about this we're all about thumbs up actually yeah he's right do give the, this video a nice thumbs up if you do enjoy it and yeah enjoy so what you want to do is you're going to start off obviously with a clean face all i've done is applied sunscreen you guys know that i swear by this primer i'm gonna apply that all over my face And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with this blush. It's in the color peach. And if you're in the mood to look peachy, <laughs> then go ahead and buy it. It's Palladio. I get it from Diskim. i um, just going to apply it here by my cheeks. Generously because literally it just like fades into your skin anyway. Also, I'm applying it underneath my foundation um, simply because my foundation is almost mattifying and I don't, I don't necessarily like the matte look. I really do like glowing a bit. So that's the reason why I'm doing this under my makeup. Today, I'll be using my brushes that I got from Shein. You guys... The quality is really really good and i think i spent less than 300 rand on these brushes there's quite a lot i'm not sure how many they are but like they're good they're good buy them if you need brushes i'm trying out this new product that i got i don't know if it's new in the market but it's new to me it is an all-round concealer palette so i have dark circles around my eyes so i'm just gonna use this orange color or is it pink this tone right here and just try to neutralize my dark circles and see if it works <laughs> so that's the amount that i'll be using and i'm just gonna tap that over here it looks so pink i get i can show <laughs> I really hope it blends out properly so while that dries out i'm just gonna spread out my blush remember i told you guys that it literally fades into the skin like there's really no pigment on it so i can't remember when i bought it if they were like um darker shades but yeah i wouldn't buy it again okay so the foundation that i'll be using today is this true skin foundation by catrice it's really good you guys it's it's good it has hyaluronic acid and it is hydrating i'm not going to be very generous with this because this is like a um, an everyday look so i'm not gonna add too much product on my face why are you watching me so attentively ah <laughs> uh, man okay so i'm just gonna apply some of this on my face i actually don't like applying foundation directly on the face like i find it weird but i'm just gonna do it anyway today you know for the vibes so where do you usually apply it? On my palette. I have a 
a mixing palette. Okay. As a professional makeup artist, it is required. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not required, but like, it's just like, you know. Preferable. Yeah, and it makes it less messy. I'm gonna use this flat brush. You guys are actually want, probably wondering why I'm doing a makeup video. Well, the main reason, number one, is for all the girls. Wow, that was too much product. Oh no. Okay. This feels like too much foundation. More than I had planned, but. Mm. Itty what it is. Anyway, the main reason why I did this video is like to help out mostly my clients. If any of my clients are watching this video, shout out to you guys. I love you guys so much. I know you guys miss me and stuff. <laughs> but I'm doing this like to almost like help you guys out, you know, and teach you for like um, days where you want to look put together with some makeup but you don't want to do like too much you know um if if you don't already know if you're new to my channel i recently moved um yeah i didn't mention that anywhere on my channel actually i recently moved away from my family home uh i'm currently in Gauteng and living with my husband <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that but yeah um yeah i'm no longer at home so i've left all my clients back home and like i still want you guys to look good even in my absence so hopefully you guys will watch this video and take some lessons from it and even if you're not my client, I really hope that this will help you guys in, you know, whatever way that you may need. Um, yeah, so this is what the Catrice foundation looks like. Can you see it looks like my skin? It feels so light. That is the number one thing that I love about it. I'm just going to go in with this um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 40. So if you are in the Pretoria region, your girl is here and you need a makeup artist, like I am available for bookings. Um, I normally only take clients on weekends. So if you do need my services and you don't have my phone number, um, my email address is in the description box. You can reach out to me via email and then obviously I'll give you my phone number and then we'll get in touch oh my gosh it's actually a really exciting chapter for me i do not want to lie like this homemaking life it's pretty cool i'm actually hoping like to do um home content like remember all those home decor stuff that i used to do when i was at home like now i can actually do those things and use them and not just like make them like because it's something that i just feel like doing but now i can actually make stuff for my home to like use and stuff so that's pretty cool but yeah i've been good i've been doing pretty well um the transition has been smooth i do go home quite a lot well not really a lot i go like every month so for some people that is a lot because yeah anyway home is not that far so actually i think i should let this dry down a bit i'm gonna use my trusted black opal foundation stick for um i don't want to say contouring i'd rather say like bronzing a bit because i'm really going for that light makeup look what i love doing with this is applying it onto the brush and not directly onto the skin because i don't want it to be too harsh so when you like 
put it on the brush you almost have better control of the product i cannot tell you when last i applied makeup on my face hey this is crazy this is actually crazy <laughs> So I'm going to set my concealer with this Catrice um, Shine Control Powder. It is in the shade Sand Beige. I use these um, puffy, what do they call these? These sponges. These are literally the best for setting your concealer. They just make your makeup look so seamless. Make sure you set your eyebrows as well, just as part of preparing for your eyebrows, to do your brows. And then I'm gonna Go over the rest of my face. Ooh, the ghetto! <laughs> I'm gonna go over the rest of my face with this um, Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. It is in the shade Caramel. I think it's a bit too dark, so maybe let me use uh, Toffee. Toffee is lighter because Caramel is 350, Toffee is 330. So what what are, what is the difference to like what does that measure? It's the color. Like the shade. The shade of your skin. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the higher the number, the darker. <laughs> no. Remember like different brands like have like different shade codes. I think that's just like a shade code. Oh, okay. Um so in the Maybelline department, like those are the the codes. codes that they use okay. and then i'm just gonna contour my nose with the same powder If you are still watching at this point and you are enjoying this video and this is the type of content that you really enjoy, please leave me an emoji that represents beauty. It can be like, I'll put them up on the screen. Any one of these ones on the screen, like just put them there and show me that you actually enjoy beauty content. Another reason, I yeah, I forgot to mention that another reason why um doing my makeup today is because i really want to like um take some pictures today i really hope that i'll have a good picture day and then i also i want to update my like profile pictures and stuff i don't know i just want to take like pretty pictures today anyway i'm using this it's the zulu palette by juvia's place um i'll be using this brown shade for my eyelid scrap that i need to do my eyebrow first so if there's anything that you take from my video it is that please if you're gonna use an eyebrow pencil that needs to be sharpened make sure that it is sharp at all times when you use it okay because that's what will make your eyebrow look clean and like professional so if there's one thing that you take from today's video i hope that it's this 
so you just follow the the shape of your eyebrow eyebrows and then also make sure that they are groomed that also like contributes a lot so what i like to do to make sure that they look like relatives you know like we are closely related we are eyebrows of the same face <laughs> i like um doing one thing on this side and then doing on the other side just to like keep track of what i'm doing so that i don't completely finish this brow and then like i have too much pressure to make sure that this one is perfect so i'll go i'll underline this side and then underline the next side can you see where my hand is like you're not here if you're here you're going to be too harsh and um that's gonna make it a bit difficult for you to move the product around and if you make a mistake it will be difficult for you to like brush it off so try to be very light-handed see we've got the underline now we come on the top part of the brow like that Can you see how simple that is? Just focus on the tail end of the bra, like from the arch to the tail. Do you get it? <laughs> Can you see how lightly I did that? I use the Rimmel London pencil in the shade dark brown and also I don't know if I mentioned the conceal the foundation that I use it is the Catrice True Skin in the shade warm caramel I feel like if you are my skin tone it's really perfect for us um and I do believe that their shade selection is pretty good And then just brush, make sure that you brush like the front part as well, just so that it's not too harsh. And then you take the same concealer that you used for your under eyes and all that stuff just to clean up. If you want to go for like a more done up look, you can definitely go with a lighter concealer just like from this part that will really lift your brow and just make it look more defined but for today's look i'll just be going in with this one color so if you have noticed i really i do use a lot of like products that you can find at your clicks and discams of the world your your pharmacies aka drug stores so it honestly speaking like these products are good so never doubt yourself if you feel like you can't afford um high-end products that you can't have a good makeup look it really isn't the case like these products are good you know and then i'm gonna go in with toffee just to set my my eyelids a bit and then we can go back to juvia's place <laughs> Focus it on this area, just to tap it on. So I'm just going in with my face powder just to buff out with that eyeshadow. It's a, it's a back and forth game when it comes to eyeshadow. Reinforce that shade and put it like on my eyelid because i don't want it to like just be plain head brown shade just near now like you're not doing too much you're just doing enough this was supposed to be a quick look but i feel like i'm taking forever i don't like that i don't like that at all so what i've recently started doing 
what i've recently started doing is using this eyeshadow palette as blush i know i don't think i'm the only person who does that but i mix this orange and the pink shade like that you know back and forth back and forth tap it on my arm and then go onto my face gk it you guys i really don't know where i get this gk it like i <laughs> it's actually like at a point that like it's part of my dna and like it's annoying me like it's so hard to get you out of my system like i need it out <laughs> Because it's actually borderline condescending, if we're being honest. Like, if a person is going to keep asking you if you get it, do you get it? Like, it's obviously from the UK girlies, but I don't know who in particular. But, yeah, I need to stop. I'm bored. But can you see how nice that looks? If you're a girl who loves, like more blush you can obviously go a bit more but yeah i'm seeing girlies putting blush right under the eye just around here mm. let's try that yeah that looks nice that looks cute i love it pencil from essence it's brown just gonna go under here Mm, that looks cute. Ooh. My under eyes are not giving. I think I might have to use a loose powder. So that pressed powder clearly didn't set this under eye area. So I'm going to go in with a bit of um, loose powder like that much blow off the excess and then definitely better this last thing fix maybelline setting spray i spray it all over my face Make sure that when you do this, like, your face is relaxed. Because if you, like, crunch up your face, then, like, you're setting your face to be, like, crunched up. I don't know if that makes sense. If you, like, you know what I mean? I nearly said you get it. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. This glow palette. I'm gonna go in with the summer glow shade. Tap it off on my nose. And then over the bridge. And then over here. This brushes is too small for that. For me, all these steps are important, even if like you're doing an, ev an everyday look. Because like I said, I like looking like you're glowing and like your skin is healthy and you drink a lot of water. So that's why I add like the shimmer and things like this. So this is the mascara that I'll be using. It is the False Lash Effect Mascara by Essence. I swear by these Essence uh, mascaras, they're actually very, very good. So what I've realized is that because I have really long lashes, okay, not really long, but like significantly long lashes, I prefer to like just focus towards the edge of my eyes and not so much here in the middle because if I come here in front, it's too dramatic and I don't want that. So I'll just like focus on this part. Coffee powder. I feel like I'm too bright under here. Just to neutralize it a bit. The Rimmel London lip pencil in the shade Brownie Pie 790. 
This is a really good pencil. I saw it from ZX Online and I haven't turned back since. I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline matte lipstick in the shade 75 Fighter. This is the final look, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and just, you know, getting to know how I do my face and things like that. Actually, I really think that you guys can take this as a love letter from me to you, especially my clients all the way at home. I really hope that you have learned something and look at the face, Viti man, let me mumugele vale. I really love it when we all look and feel good. So I really hope that you have learned something from me in this video. And um, I hope that this will be a video that you will keep coming back to because I think I dropped some few good tips for you to take. Missed you guys so much. I really missed speaking in front of the camera. And I hope that this is my comeback. This is comeback season. <laughs> my next video will be up pretty soon and i hope that you do stay subscribed and if this is your first time on this channel i really hope that i left a lasting impression and that you will hit that subscribe button to become a member of this family i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video Mwah! bye see you all around my way. Been